On the news tonight, wife of Anambra State Governor Mrs. Saludo to ensure hygiene campaign reaches all homes in Anambra. 25 hotels, banks sealed in Anambra State over non-payment of taxes. Levis, over 100 directors, failed test to become principals of Unity School. COVID-19, a Philippine student returned to school first time in two years. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround and maintenance of the Adambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good evening and welcome to the evening news right here on ABS television at this time. I am Priska Wangko and now the details of the news. Wife of the governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Nonye Saludo, has vowed to ensure that her campaign for hygiene and health and living reaches all Anambra homes. Our correspondent, Daniel Ezegwe, completes the story. Mrs. Saludo, who studied this in Oka, observed that as hygiene and health living advocate, she was disturbed by the spread of disease and death that occur, especially among pregnant women and children, as a result of unhealthy living practices. The governor's wife noted that while the statistics call for stronger actions, including strategic policies and education, she is determined to collaborate with relevant stakeholders to ensure that the message is taken directly to households, including rural and semi-rural areas. She further stated that though her husband's administration is making serious efforts to remodel the state's health sector, the peculiarity of hygiene and healthy living means that close-up interventions are essential to achieve desired results. Mrs. Soludo, however, noted that it is also important for the people to understand the imperative of living healthy as a deliberate process, including being careful with what they consume, the production procedures for each consumable, as well as the habitability of their environments. She added that with the proliferation of inorganic food products across markets, consumers must also make a healthy choice to avoid the health consequences of such products. In Oka, Daniel Ezigwe, ABS news about 25 hotels and banks have been sealed in Oka and environs by Anambra State Internal Revenue Service AIRS have on payments of sanitation levels business premises and other taxes to the state government some of the sealed hotels are Mumbai Festus Hotel Finotel Classic Hotel and Shalom Hotel Oka correspondent Emmanuel Chibota completes the reports Others include Zoramax Hotel, New World Lounge, Landmark Hotel Nibo, Summit Splendor Hotel Oka, Ndiolo Microfinance Bank Oka, and Nigeria Police Force Microfinance Bank, among others. Speaking to journalists after the exercise, the head of the team and DEX officer in charge of Anambra State Waste Management Authority under AIRS, Mr. James Morgan Ezodele said, the enforcement was basically made following a court order on 11th August 2022 to seal off those business premises for refusal or failure to appear in court after being served with writ of summons as they refused to pay stipulated levies to the state government. Mr. Zodili also said that the exercise was part of the state government's resolve to boost its revenue and to ensure that the environments are clean by removal of waste across the roads and streets. So the message is working day and night to make sure those, uh, those uh, rubbish are being removed from the roads. And uh, it, it, it is not what you can do ordinarily. We need finance to do it. So people need to... People are, are encouraged to pay their sanitation pay. By so doing, you see money to pay the calculation of the cost. For the Anambra Central Zonal Coordinator under non-tax department of AIRS, Mr. Sylvester Uzo disclosed that the exercise would be continuous to ensure that every dime owned to the state government would be paid. He warned business owners and companies not to pay their levies or tax to anyone at hand, but through the designated government's account with the ANSID number, while adding that with these payments, it will encourage the dividends that are expected from the state government. Urging India Anambra to support Governor Chuku Masoludo administration. My advice to all Anambrians is to go back to make sure that we pay all your labor. The government of Soludo is ready to serve people and it must also serve them with the money. The money we are generating must come from the states. We go to the government. So everybody 
both the households, the industries, hoteliers, all our Nambrians in Kusi must make sure they pay all their levies. More importantly, to go to any of the commercial banks or use our POS to pay those money directly to government IDR account. On his part, the counsel to the state's revenue house, Barista Banabas Udemba, pointed that violation of the court order after being served with court summon results to contempt of court and the faulters would be severely punished. In Oka, Emmanuel Shibata, for ABS News. The member representing Urban South's constituency in the Anambra State House of Assembly, Honorable Imamwafo, has urged government at all levels to see the youth as a tool for transformation of Nigeria in order to set the entryway to national growth and development. Correspondent Chukomeka Modalim reports that a legislator, while speaking to journalists from Japan in a telephone interview, lauded Governor Chukuma Saludo for setting the peace in youth empowerment by giving them opportunities to serve and embrace state. Honorable Wafo noted that the future of Nigeria lies in the youth, so taking away the willingness, commitments, and engagements of the youth nation building will have their consequences, which have been manifesting, especially in maintaining the peace of the country. The lawmaker observed that Anambra State is now enjoying relative peace because the administration of Governor Saludo engaged them actively in development of the state. He identified a youth earnestly seek solution, a youth organization which the governor is using to empower the youth and fight crime as one of the surest ways to develop their hidden talents and engage them in nation building. The lawmaker maintained that if youth, especially those from poor parental backgrounds, are not abandoned in the scheme of things, as will give a clear picture that their potential as change agents in the society has been greatly recognized. He advised the youth to shun all forms of indecent art capable of jeopardizing their future and work out their ideas in every walk of life, as well as set their thoughts towards achieving their potential to guarantee sustainable development of Anambra and Nigeria at large. Philanthropist the Quazo empowers 50 indigent women with 20,000 naira each, five holders with vehicles at Omawolo, Okasa, Kese area. The founder of the global movement, Chief Azubike Okwazo, empowered 50 women with cash as well as given vehicles to five other beneficiaries. ABS correspondents in Gozibiliri covered the events which took place at his country home, Omawolo, in Okasa, Kese area. Her reports. 50 indigent women were given 20,000 naira each to start small-scale businesses to improve their lives and boost their local market, which the benefactor, Chief Azubike Okwazo, complained has been recording low turnout of traders. Another five persons, including a widow, also got shuttle buses, Toyota Corolla car, and Dynamini lorry, respectively. Members of APGA, Umawolo Ward, came out in their numbers to be part of the event and to show solidarity to one of their own, Chief Ekwazo. Speaking while handing over the key of the Dynamini lorry to the benefactor, the traditional ruler of Umawolo, Igwe Joel Egwongu, said that Chief Ekwazo is a blessing to the community, as he listed many ways he has helped people of the community, including building of houses for widows and widowers, awarding scholarships to indigent children from primary to university level, employment of many youths of the community and other community development projects. Igwe Gwang said that Chief Ekwazo was sent by God as hope for the hopeless, praying God to bless him with long life and good health. God will continue to uphold him. God will continue to strengthen him. God will continue to open doors, doors of wealth, so that he will continue to do what God has destined them to do on this planet Earth. So we are very happy. Omuaolo is happy. Obizi is happy. Oka South is happy. Anambra State is happy. In fact, the whole country, because if you go to Lagos, if you go to Abuja, everywhere is the same way he's doing. Responding, Chief Ekwazo assured that the fact that he lost in the primary election conducted by his party, the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APCA, will not deter him from being a philanthropist, which has been his life before he joined politics, adding that he wanted to fulfill his campaign promises to the executive members of his party at Umaolo Ward, despite the outcome of the primary election. He appreciated members of the party for standing with him all through and urged them to always identify with individuals who have the welfare of the people at heart, both during and after elections and advised the beneficiaries to put what they were giving to judicious use. So after the primaries I could not make it, the thoughts are it is a political statement. Also I want to prove to them that my word is not political, but it's reality. So that's today it came to pass. 
I want them to use the, the vehicles to make a difference on their life. Uh, I always advise them to take life step by step because the journey of 1,000 miles at the step. Some of the beneficiaries, including Mr. Oluchukumwankwo and a widow, Mrs. Chinyere Obala, who got the opportunity through a ballot, expressed gratitude to their benefactor and promised to use the vehicles to provide for their family. What surprise, right? I want to be a widow. When I saw you, I was angry. Naked and one nine, Nibia song, Moria. When I saw with God, all things are possible. A belly, a belly of a rick and organ to come like Belia. That is in Omnia. From Umaolo in Oka South Council area, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. Still to come on the news tonight, over 100 directors failed tests to become principals of Unity School. COVID-19, a Philippine student returned to school first time in two years. Here is the special message. The Anambra cannot allow criminal elements to hold the state and the people to ransom. The need generously to the Anambra State Security Trust Fund, which has been set up to raise money for combating insecurity in the state. We press here for public service announcements. The news returns up to now. So you gotta have a smile, no matter what it takes. Gotta take your place now, I love the way it tastes. Feel the pure place, but your face. face. Gotta take your place now. now. Feel the bliss today. Light up your day anywhere, even at home, with the rich creamy taste of pure bliss. Traveling? You deserve the absolute best. Enjoy maximum comfort in our new buses with more like a reclinable seats onboard entertainment and much more pick your preferred seat choose your preferred shadow travel on your terms ready for a premium ride driven by the best captains out there book now you're welcome back to the news no fewer than 137 persons out of the 344 civil servants on the directorate cadre just lean to be appointed as the principals of the nation's 100 unity schools across the country failed the examination organized by the Federal Ministry of Education. Reports say that the 207 directors who passed the computer-based competency test had been scheduled for oral interviews. Nigeria's 100 and unity schools include the special schools for the gifted spread across the 30 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. The federal government had decided that from 2022-2023 academic session, those to be appointed principals of the schools must have taken part in a competency-based test and emerged successful. Millions of students across the Philippines have returned to the classroom on Monday after one of the world's longest school closures. Almost half of the country's school resumed in person classes after more than two years of distance learning. The Philippines was one of the last few countries to transition back to face the first learning after COVID struck. Sports. Robert Lewandowski got off the mark for Barcelona with a double as Ansu Fati stirred as a substitute in a 4-1 victory at Real Real Solidad on Sunday, while Villarreal won at Atletico Madrid. Poland striker Lewandowski, celebrating his 34th birthday, pulled Barker ahead inside 50 seconds before Alexander Isak leveled for La Rio in San Sebastian. But Fati came off the bench to create goals for Usman Dembele and Lewandowski before completing the scoring himself. Barker's first win of the season followed a disappointing goalless draw at home to Rayo Vallecano on the opening weekend. Remember, you can follow news and program on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website, www.absradiotv.com. 
To end the news this evening, a recap of the main points. Wife of Anambra State Governor Mrs. Saludo has vowed to ensure hygiene campaign reaches all homes in Anambra. 35 hotels, banks have been sealed in Anambra State over non-payment of taxes, levies. Over 100 directors have failed a test to become principals of Unity School. COVID-19, a Philippines a student have returned to school first time in two years. Here is the special message again. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround the maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. That ends the evening news at this time on ABS television. Thanks for watching. My name is Priska Wonko. Good evening and have a wonderful night rest.